Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a critical stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Malvi Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top MNCs, which are available in the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions I asked in lead code are available in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available below in the chart description. And also, in addition to that, I have created a video playlist which is consisting of easy, medium, hard, premium and also all questions ordered by sequence in the respective playlist. And today's question which we are going to solve is ads performance which is of question number 1322 and type easy. Let's see the question. Okay. It is also asked in Facebook. They have given the schema of a table called ads, which is consisting of ad ID. Okay. The ad which is being displayed. User ID, the customer who is viewing that action means what is the action he has taken, whether he has clicked on it, viewed it or ignored it. Okay. A company is running ads and wants to calculate the performance of each ad. Okay. Performance of an ad is measured using click through rates and they have given a formula. Okay. What they are saying is if the total clicks and total views is it is equal to zero, then CTR should be zero. Okay. In the null case means nobody is doing nothing. Otherwise they are saying that CTR is total clicks it got on an ad by total number of clicks and total views okay now what they're asking write an sql query to find the ctr of each ad okay there are uh, respective ads in the ad id column and they want ctr for each and they have given a condition in the last they are saying to round off it to two decimal points only okay return the uh, result table order by ctr in descending order and by ad add in the ascending order okay they want to calculate cd they want to round it off second thing third thing they want to order in the sequence which are given let's see how it is calculated okay let me see And let's see the output. Okay. What is the CTR formula they have given? CTR equal to total clicks by clicks plus viewed. Okay, let's see for the each table what are there. What is the action done by one? One clicked, two clicked, three viewed. Okay, again one, yeah, one ignored. So, ignored cases we are gonna ignore. Okay, two viewed. Okay, two also viewed it. Okay, three clicked, three clicked, one viewed. Okay one viewed and again one viewed uh, is it once yeah it is you represented that already next two viewed okay and again one clicked see one clicked what is the ctr formula number of clicks by clicks plus views for the one you can see there are two clicks one plus one clicks by respectively clicks plus views how many clicks are there one plus one clicks and one view which is respectively two by three two by three in percentage means into hundred you will divide two by three of hundred is sixty six point six okay let's see for the third condition second condition c v v c how many clicks are there only one it is there let's see how many clicks are there? One. 
total views two are there one plus one so it becomes what one by three in percentage means one by three into hundred it is equal to thirty three point three that is why they have given thirty three point four three for that now let's see for student three and student five Student 3, okay, one click is there, total number of clicks is 1, total number of views is 1, so it is 1 by 2. Per in percentage means in 200, so it becomes 50, that is what they mentioned here, okay, we have seen the three cases. Now if you see, for V, total number of clicks and everything is 0, so by default it is 0, which they mentioned in the formula here, means if the total clicks plus views is nothing, then we should written as zero. This is one edge case. Everything else we will be calculating like this. Okay. Let's see the code for this one. Yeah. From adds table. What they want? Okay, select add ID. This is the first thing they want, and the second CTR column is number of clicked by number of clicked plus views. So it should be sum of. Let's say what we are doing here. If it is clicked, we are saying it as one, and we are counting it. Let's see how to write that for that. Case when action equal to clicked then one means it will calculate for all the things when it is clicked for one if you see for one click it is there it, it will take it as one let me keep one okay and I will end it for the other case I don't care it so whenever click it is there for one if you see click it is there here uh, clicker is there here okay so sum of clicker for one ID will be two respectively what we want divided by total number of clicked and views so sum of case when case when action can be either clicked or viewed okay so i will use in operator we can use double equal to operator and you can keep or or you can keep like this both are same in click comma viewed if there are any one of them then let call it as one after that calculate all the ones so now we will get sum of clicked by sum of this one now we will be getting it okay we should keep end here what is the alias name they kept for that ctr as ctr and one more condition we have to multiply into 100 because it is in percentage so i will keep into 100 i will keep 0 0.0 because in mysql you need to keep floating point number to get the decimal point number in mysql okay let's submit it and one more condition also they mentioned what is that let's see the condition each by each write an sql query okay they are saying to round it off let's keep everything in round and let's keep the entire query comma 2 okay let's run it Uh, what is the thing they're asking? Ads dot add ID. It's not available. ADS table, yeah. Add ID, yes. Let's run it again. Uh, 
ads dot add id where is the mistake we have written let's um, let's remove this let's run it again okay everything is else right now here we have kept something wrong let's see it sum of case when action equal to click then one and clear into 100 okay let's keep it here then sum of case when action in click to comma view then one and this is also clear we are keeping the entire thing rounding off to 2 as CTR let's remove this comma Yeah, where is the error I'm getting okay we have selected uh, ADA but but we forgot one thing we need to group by that right yeah a simple mistake group by ADID okay we have done it after that what is the second condition they asked order by the CTR column descending order after that ad id in ascending order okay let's run it okay there is a wrong answer for this one let's see it okay if you see there is nothing for the table 5 okay but they mentioned that if nothing is said we should give an edge case called 0 for that so what i will do is i will keep is null if it is null I will keep everything as 0 uh, I think we should be keeping here comma 0 yeah okay not in here one more bracket should be there Yeah, it got accepted finally. Let's submit it. Yes, all our test cases has been accepted by the lead code platform. Thanks for watching. If you want detailed explanation like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your study partner. Always make sure to be disciplined, complete all the playlist and try to achieve your dream as fast as possible.